Dear friends, as we come together at this Holy Eucharist, we have these intentions to pray for. We remember in a very special way Sister Lucica, who is celebrating her birthday today. We pray that the Lord may bless all her intentions, her apostolate, and her near and dear ones. Also, we remember Isadorin Sakma, a grandniece of sister, also celebrates her birthday, and Mrs. Mary, sister Litta Sandy, she also celebrates her birthday today. So we remember all these people and ask the Lord's special intention and ask the Lord to bless them at this Holy Eucharist. We like to also pray for the departed soul of Catherine de Barma, the younger sister of one of our students who was here in this hostel of ours, girls hostel. She died on the 30th. We remember her and pray. She is the younger sister of Hamari de Barma who was in 2000. 15 in Mama Margaret Hall in St. Anne's College. Let's remember all these intentions and let's in a moment of silence bring other prayers that we have and pray for the entire world. And may this Holy Eucharist be an experience for us to really taste and experience the love of Jesus. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And your spirit. Let's ask pardon for all our sins. Let's look into our hearts and ask the Lord to really make his home in us. Trusting in his mercy and forgiveness, we say, You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call us sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty Lord have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have made all those reborn in Christ a chosen race and a royal priesthood, grant, we pray, the grace to will and do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord says this, I am going to take the sons of Israel from the nations where they have gone. I shall gather them together from everywhere and bring them home to their own soil. I shall make them into one nation in my own land and on the mountains of Israel, and one king is to be king of them all. They will no longer form two nations, nor be two separate kingdoms. They will no longer defile themselves with their idols and their filthy practices, and all their sins I shall rescue them from all the betrayals they have been guilty of. I shall cleanse them, they shall be my people, and I will be their God. My servant David will reign over them, one shepherd for all. They will follow my observances, respect my laws and practices, and practice them. They will live in the land that I gave my servant Jacob, the land in which your ancestors lived. They will live in it, they, their children, their children's children forever. David, my servant, is to be their prince forever. I shall make a covenant of peace with them, an eternal covenant with them. I shall resettle them and increase my home above them. I will be their God, they shall be my people, and all the nations will learn that I am the Lord, the sanctifier of Israel, 
when my sanctuary is with them forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. O nations, hear the word of the Lord. Proclaim it to the far off course. Say, he who scattered Israel will gather him and guard him as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as the shepherd guards his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob, has saved him from an overpowering hand. They will come and shout for joy on Mount Zion. They will stream to the blessings of the Lord. The Lord will guard us as the shepherd guards his flock. Then the young girls will rejoice and will dance. The men, young and old, will be glad. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console them, get gladness for grief. The Lord, the Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Gospel acclamation. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. Everyone who believes in him has eternal life. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. Chapter 11, verses 45 to 56. Many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary and had seen what Jesus did believed in him, but some of them went to tell the Pharisees what he had done. Then the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting. Here is this man working all these signs, they said, and what action are we going to do? If we let him go in this way, everybody will believe in him and the Romans will come and destroy the holy place and our nation. One of them, Caiaphas, the high priest that year, said, You don't seem to have grasped the situation at all. You fail to see that it is better for one man to die for the people than for the whole nation be destroyed. He did not speak in his own person. It was as a high priest, and he made this prophecy that Jesus was to die for the nation, and not for the nation only, but to gather together in unity the scattered children of God. From that day, they were determined to kill him. So Jesus no longer went about openly among the Jews, but left the district for a town called Ephraim in the country bordering the desert and stayed there with his disciples. The Jewish Passover drew near and many of the country people who had gone up to Jerusalem to purify themselves looked out for Jesus, saying to one another, as they stood about in the temple, what do you think? Will he come to the festival or not? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. I'm not going to speak on the readings today much, a little, and something else, a doubt somebody posted the other day. Uh, the Gospel of today from John's Gospel, Caiaphas, Caiaphas, the high priest, speaks something that applies to each of us, to the entire world, humanity. Christ, the one who died for the entire world, lest we perish. And that was a prophecy, though he spoke in another context. Christ, who died for you and for me, taking away our sins, and he stands before us as the one who died. All of us are called to do the same. As he loved us, he died. And in love, let us also die for one another. I would like to speak something else, what I said yesterday. Some who are watching this daily masses online have put a posting. Every day now we have an adoration that happens at the end of the mass. Some liturgical doubts some who are very happy with it. So just like to clarify as liturgically, okay, it is fine if you look in the Roman sacramental of exposition and adoration, it's explained. You know, 
towards the end of the mass especially in churches where adoration is held it is a practice we end with the mass the concluding prayer and as we have and adoration continues of course it would be proper and fitting that we have at least half an hour of adoration that would be the best but since we are limited by many other conditions we are making it short if some of us saw the mass of the holy father on the day of the urbi and orbi blessing this is how that's how the holy father had the mass the mass and with the sacrament exposed the blessing at the end of the mass and the purpose of course at this time purposely we are doing many of us are not able to come and adore the lord of course we those of us physically present have received jesus but in an act of willful exposed adoration we commend our life and our praise and adoration to the lord and i hope this is an experience for us those of us who are spiritually participating to really adore the lord before and ask our blessings may this be an experience for all of us and as we walk into the holy week we are on the eve of the holy week almost let's ask jesus we walk with him in his passion in his suffering and of course we will also join him in the resurrection Let us pray, my dear friends, that this sacrifice of mine and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of the saints, for our good and good of the power of this holy church. May the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray. And as an expiation of our sins, may they make us worthy of your loving grace and lead us to what you promise for all eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For your will that our self-deny should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us to imitate you in your loving kindness. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is you, come to the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. And during this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Catherine de Burma, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters, our near and dear ones departed, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, the Apostles, St. Anthony, St. Don Bosco, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Let's call on God, our Father, in the words that Jesus taught us for the coming of his kingdom. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from all sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other God's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, broken, died for us, who takes away all our sins. Blessed are we who are called to receive him. Lord, I want to God, you are the ancient and to my life. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. This is Jesus who died for all of us. Let's ask him to come spiritually into us, those of us who cannot receive him. The Lord, who died for the entire world, in obedience, in love of us. Let's give our life to him in obedience and let us love him a little more.
Let's stand to pray. We entreat your greatness most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may take us, share us of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let's bow and kneel in adoration as we come to ask the Lord to really, the Lord who, <coughs> whom we have received, the Lord who died for us, he is here before us. Blessed and praise be every moment. Thank the Lord for spiritually being present to all of us. We were not able to receive him physically in his body and blood, but to all of us the Lord is present before him. Lifted high, who died for us, who rose before for us. And as in the words of Caiaphas, the Lord tells us, He has died that we may live. He has died that I may live. It is my sins that he has taken, my weakness, and the cross is nothing but my sins that he has taken. And it is an assurance that the Lord loves us and he has carried my sins and crucified and transformed me. I thank the Lord and visit Jesus who is so precious to me, so dear to me. Let's thank him for this eternal gift of himself to us. And he is a friend whom we cannot miss. As that song says, what a friend we have in this Jesus. We are going to sing that song and let that be the tune and the feeling that runs in us. Whatever be your trouble, whatever be your weakness, whatever be your sins, be assured the Lord has lifted them up in the cross and as he transformed the evil, the death into the life of the resurrection, he will transform us, he will transform our sins. What we need to do is first believe that he is a savior who died for us and then live that love that Jesus gives us. Let's sing this song and let that be our prayer deep within us. What a friend we have in this Jesus. Let's for a moment silently adore the Lord. Let this be the words that run in us. Here is a friend who has died for us. It's pure love that the Lord has for us that made him up on the cross crucified.
Let's surrender all our intentions, prayers, everything to the Lord. Let's surrender our families, our fears, our anxiety to the Lord. The Lord can lift them up. That is the miracle of the cross. That is the power of the cross. As he transformed the evil, the death into life, the Lord can transform everything in us, in our lives, in our families, to his grace. Let's pray for the entire world that is affected, people who are sick, doctors, nurses, scientists, and people who have lost their near and dear ones, people who are far away, separated, not able to get home. We surrender all this to the Lord, trusting, believing that the Lord gives us hope, the Lord gives us meaning. Let's thank Jesus for all his gifts to us. As we say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for me. Thank, thank you, Jesus, Jesus, for dying for me. Thank you, Jesus, for taking away my sins. Thank, thank you, Jesus, for taking away my sins. Jesus, I adore you. Jesus, I adore you. Jesus, I surrender my life to you. Jesus, I surrender my life to you. Jesus, transform me. Jesus, transform me. As we receive the blessing, let us give our life, fears, anxiety, and everything to the Lord. And may the power of the Lord, of Jesus crucified, died, and resurrected, come into our lives and transform us. Blessed and praised be every moment. Blessed and praised be every moment. Blessed and praise be every moment. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Let's say the prayer for the world. Most merciful and triumphant God, we come to you in our weakness. We come to you in our fear. We come to you with trust. For you alone are our hope. We place before you the diseases present in our world. We turn to you in our time of need. Bring wisdom to doctors. Give understanding to scientists. And our caregivers with compassion and generosity. Bring healing to those who are ill. Protect those who are most at risk. Give comfort to those who have lost a loved one. Welcome those who have died in your eternal home. Stabilize our communities. Unite us in our compassion. Remove all fear from our hearts. Fill us with confidence in our care. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, pray to the Holy Family, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, in you we contemplate the splendor of true love, to you we turn with trust, Holy Family of Nazareth, grant that our families too may be places of communion, prayer and be authentic schools of the Gospel and small domestic churches, Holy Family of Nazareth, May our families never again experience violence, rejection and division. May all who have been hurt find really comfort and healing. Holy Family of Nazareth, make us aware of the sacredness of the family and its beauty in God's plan. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. One small information for those of us who watch the celebrations, the Holy Mass online for the coming week that is a holy week starting from sunday till the easter pattern we begin the 
Palm Sunday tomorrow and the Easter, the details of the Mass timings and other services are given at the end of the Mass. You can have a look at this video itself. God bless you. Number 785, 